I am ranked number one. One! That means I'm the best. So Anthony Joshua will challenge Charles Martin for the IBF World Heavyweight title on April the 9th at the O2 Arena. Fighting for the heavyweight title has been a dream of mine since I turned professional, Joshua said. I feel privileged to have the opportunity to turn that dream into reality. Not only that, having the chance to fight for it in my hometown at the O2 Arena and live on Sky Sports is unbelievably exciting. Charles Martin is a great fighter and a great competitor, a hungry competitor, so I'm going to have to produce the performance of my career to claim that belt. Joshua, after 15 fights, is getting his shot, you know? Now, Charles Martin has had more fights. He's had more fights, 23 and 0 with one draw. I don't know who the draw was against, but I would argue Anthony Joshua has fought the better opposition. I would argue that, you know? But Martin is a big guy himself, six foot five, just an inch shorter than Joshua. I think Joshua might have a little more on the reach. But nevertheless, he's fighting a big guy who can punch a little and we don't know what he can do. It's a dangerous fight. We don't know what Martin can do. He's never been in with the opposition or been in a struggle like that, so we would know. Now, this is a golden opportunity for Anthony Joshua, yeah? In British football, we would call this a sitter. It's called a sitter. Like, you're basically right in front of the goal. You can't miss this. This is a sitter. Now, this is boxing. Anything could happen. One punch can change the course of events and whatnot. And Joshua was rocked by Dillian White. He was rocked. Forced back onto the ropes for the first time in his career. Was it just an anomaly? Or was that a chink in his armour? Can Charles Martin study that and replicate that? and make it work for him. I haven't heard no stories of Charles Martin being majorly rocked in no fight. Could be a sign he's got a great chin, a great defense, or he just hasn't fought anybody. Who knows? But if you can't beat the IBF champion, Charles Martin, with barely a top 10 opponent on his record, an injury stoppage victory over Glashkov is his best performance, and we know Glashkov's history, then there's nothing out there for him. But, you know, this is massive. Charles Martin said, I'm coming to the UK to make a statement that I am the best heavyweight in the world and no one is taking my title. Charles Martin's manager, Mike Boroa, said special thanks to Eddie Hearn and Matram, Leon Margueles of Warriors Boxing and all else for putting this major event on so quickly and that we will discover that Charles Martin is a special talent on April the 9th. People are saying it's a bold move by Joshua, but it's not really. It's, it's not really that bold a move. This is a great opportunity, you know, a great opportunity for both guys. This is Charles Martin's opportunity to prove that, yo, I'm not just the guy who won by injury stoppage, who everybody says I'm the weakest link. This is a great opportunity. I mean, he's taking a gamble coming overseas against a hugely popular British heavyweight, you know. And there's going to be nothing to prepare Charles Martin for that O2 Arena crowd. There's going to be nothing to prepare him. They're going to be going nuts in there. Nuts. He won't be just fighting Anthony Joshua. He has to silence the crowd somehow. And if Joshua wins, they're talking about David Hay, Joseph Parker, Tyson Fury. Heavyweight division gone haywire, bro. Haywire. Haywire. You know? I'm hoping that he just doesn't do the horizontal thing on April the 9th, you know. I, I, I'm really hoping he doesn't flop here. I'm really hoping he doesn't flop. I think it's well within his capabilities of doing it. Martin is an unknown quantity and maybe an unappreciated, underrated quantity. We don't know. We don't know what he has. A big gamble for both men. It was a gamble for Martin actually taking the fight with Glashkov, with consideration to the opposition he had fought before he beat Glashkov. And this is a gamble by Anthony Joshua. Looking forward to this one, man. Great news, great news, great news, great news.